Sienna Duke. Chase Porks. McQuad. McQuad. Featherston Ho. Oh no! <laughs> hey guys, I'm Eric. And I'm Grace. We're the Wandering Ravens. We are a couple of Americans on a multi-month adventure around the UK. This YouTube channel documents our journey. So if you like learning about British and Northern Irish culture, make sure you subscribe. The topic of today's video is British surnames. We've been building a list of some of the most colorful British and Northern Irish surnames that we've come across. We've also partnered with a couple of our patrons. So shout out to Simon and Tony. Thank you guys for helping us with this video. We're going to do our best to pronounce these last names and then they're going to jump in with the accurate pronunciation or at least a guess. And I assume that their guesses are gonna be better than ours because you know they have experience with this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> First up we have what appears to be Dankworth. Dankworth. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, I would say Dankworth. Dankworth. <laughs> Let's jump into it and see what Tony and Simon have to say. Dankworth. Dankworth. Ah, well, you can tell that we have the American pronunciation because mm -hmm. we, we said Dankworth. Mm -hmm. They said Dankworth. Fawn? Fawn. 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 Okay. Fawn. Okay. Okay. E bar crombe. E bar crombe. I'm gonna say e bar crombe. Hey. Oh, it's like Abercrombie. <gasps> That's oh, probably what it is. Like I think it's like Abercrombie. Brand. Yeah. Abercrombie. This is a hard one. I've almost got to put an accent on for this. Abercrombie. Abercrombie. Okay, oh. so those are two different pronunciations. Yeah. So it sounded like Tony was going with the Abercrombie. Mm -hmm. Like the way we would say it. Abercrombie. But Simon has, perhaps it's more of the authentic pronunciation. Abercrombie. I'm not sure if this is Northern Irish or Welsh. One of those two. The way he pronounced it, I would guess Welsh. If you have this last name, do let us know which one of these two pronunciations do you use? McQuad? McQuad. It looks like McQuad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Mac McQueed. McQueed? McQueed. Let's go with McQueed. <laughs> Not sure. Probably McQueed. Number four is a guess. Uh, McCade. McCade. Ah, okay. okay. So we weren't the only ones that had trouble with that one. <laughs> lofty? Lofty? It does. It looks like a different spelling for the word lofty. Or loti? Loti. <laughs> Could be loti. <laughs> I'm going to say oh, lofty, shoot. though. Okay. You say lofty, I'll say loti, just, just to be different. Oh, this is a guess. Clouty. But it could be lofty. Okay, like, All right, like we I'm said, lofty. yeah. Is a guess. Lofty. All right, if you have this last name, do let us know how you pronounce it. We've got a lot of different guesses going on here. Chase Porks. This sounds like we know what this guy did for a profession. <laughs> he's a butcher. Well, he's not the butcher, he's the guy he's that the works. Hunter. Yeah, he works for the butcher. He chases the porks. <laughs> Chase Porks it is. I don't know where this is from, but I feel like saying. Chase Poch. Whenever Simon says it, it has a very authentic sound. Yeah. Poch. I, I feel like anything Simon told me, I would believe him. <laughs> so that's kind of a problem because if he told me, oh, say this to someone as a means of politeness, me I would believe it. I'd believe it. Number six is a guess. Chase pork. Chase pork. Okay, we're all kind of guessing the same thing. Yeah. Chase pork or chase pork. If you have the name chase pork, I'm sorry, let us know how you pronounce it. <laughs> and also let us know what did your family do generations yeah. back? Does the etymology of chase pork have to do with chasing pork? <laughs> Which means something different now than it did back then. Ooh, I feel like this one's L's. L's, not Elwes. L's. L's. No, I think it's just L's. I'm gonna say it's pronounced elves. I think the W is a V sound. So then you're just elves. Elves. My last name is Elves. I'm Mr. Elves. <laughs> <laughs> Surely this is a soft W. Elves. Elwis. Oh, okay. So we got a little bit of a split. Elwes or Elves. Let us know which one of these pronunciations is correct if you have this last name or know someone with it. Nick Coffrine. McCoffrine. That sounds right, but I'm gonna say McCorrine. McCoffrine. McCorrine. Probably McCoffrine. McCoffrine. Simon's pronunciation was a little bit similar to Yours. mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tony's was very different. McCoffrine. So he says the GH as a K. McCoffrine. McCoffrine. Ooh. Okay, next up we have Limhanak. Lemhanak. Or Lemhanak. Okay, I'm gonna say Lemhanak. Very different. This doesn't sound This doesn't like sound like anywhere in the UK. In the UK. Oh, yeah. This is a guess. Lemhanak. 
Number nine, I believe, is Lennox. Whoa! What? What? Wait, what? What? Lennox. It sounds like an N, but he could be saying an N. Lemmix? I believe is Lennox. No, it's... Maybe... Not. Well, we do have the name Lennox. Yeah, we do. So maybe that comes from this crazy spelling. This honestly looks Roman, like ancient Roman. Yeah! I would say Caius. I would say Caius as well. Uh-huh. Sounds like something you'd name Caius. a big dog. <laughs> it does. Caius! Caius! An English <laughs> Mastiff. <gasps> Not a clue. Case. Keys. 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 Tony seems a bit confident in his pronunciation there, so it must be keys then. Colcahoon? Col. Cahoon. Colcahoon. A friend of mine had this surname at school, and uh, I've heard several variations, including Colcahoon, Colquan, but it's Colhoon. Number 11 is a guess, Cole Coon. Well, there are some very different pronunciations there, but I think we'll go with Simon's on this one because Tony said his was a guess. Oh boy. All right, let's say it together. One, two, three. Heathcote. Heath <laughs> oh, is it not exactly? I was gonna say Heathcote. And I decided to go with something totally <laughs> that I didn't believe in, and I went with Heathcote. Heathcote, all right. <laughs> Heathcote, Heathcote. Heathcote? Not sure. Partly a guess. Heathkit or Hesketh. Oh! Hey, mine! Right. Hey, mine was, okay. was a good guess! All right, so Tony's backing yours up, <laughs> and Simon's backing mine up. All right, so if you have this last name, let us know how you pronounce it. Is it Heathcote or Heathcote? All right. So we have what appears to be sweat in bed. Sweat in bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is right up there with chase pork. If you chase pork too long, you might be sweating in bed. I want to say sweat in bedder. Uh, sweat in bed. Pretty close, actually. Sweat in bedder. That sounds Dutch, actually. It does. For entertainment purposes, we're gonna say Tony is right on this one. <laughs> sweat in bed. This looks French. Oh yes, I think this is definitely French. Which would be beautiful champion? I don't know. I don't know what champ means. I don't know. How, how would you pronounce it? Beauchamp? Beauchamp. Okay. But a French person would be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> e -E 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 says, e -E. <laughs> So I'm guessing this came to England, probably with the Norman conquest. Mm -hmm. The Normans probably brought it over in 1066. And I'm also guessing that the pronunciation has changed. Yeah, it's probably not that anymore. Yeah. Which is making me wonder if it's Beauchamp. 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 Oh, that sounds kind Beauchamp. of right. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's go with Beauchamp. I'm sure this is Beauchamp. Beecham. Beecham? Beecham? What on earth? <laughs> Either way, we were wrong. We actually have Beechams in America, but it's yeah. spelled B E E. Wait, how many E's did I say? C H A M. Yeah. yeah. Beecham. Beecham. <laughs> that would be wild if the etymology of Beecham is actually French. Is French. Yeah. I'm also assuming that since they seemed relatively confident, both of them with their pronunciation, that there are multiple ways of pronouncing this last name in the UK. If you have this last name, let us know how you pronounce it. Oh wow. Well, we have a accent. So, does that mean it's Welsh? <laughs> sees accent. <laughs> this is Welsh. <laughs> Although the Mac, I don't think I've I've seen a Welsh name with Mac. So I'm gonna say Scottish, maybe. Maybe Scottish. Oh no, we're just like stereotyping <laughs> everyone right now. We're sorry if you have this name and you're not Scottish. Mac. You should Mac, be. Mac is Irish too. Oh yeah, that's true. All right, we know that this name is not English. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we know. <laughs> Macomhagan. Macomen. The butchering continues, McCormen. The next one is a Scottish Gaelic one. Uh, I'm gonna say McCorn. Okay, if you're Scottish and you have this last name, let us know how you pronounce it because this is a very colorful name. I love the accent. How do we say the O's with that accent? I'm gonna say Featherston Ho. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Featherstone Ha. Let's just say Ha I'd instead say ha. of. Instead of the other one. <laughs> Featherstone Ha. Featherstone, hello, not stone, it's stun. Yeah. Featherstone Ha. Featherstone Ha. I think yours. <laughs> I think yours now. Possibly Featherstone Ha. Fernshaw. <laughs> Fern 
<laughs> Tony just keeps blowing our minds. I would not get Fernshaw out of this. Fernshaw. But I mean, I believe it. That sounds wow. like a Western last name in the States. It does. It sounds a last like a name's cowboy. Fernshaw, yo! He's down ain't big enough for the two of us, son. Fernshaw's you here. Better, you better skedaddle. It's Fernshaw's in Grab town. your lady panties and go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how cowboys talk. Marjorie Banks. Marjorie Banks. Hands up. I had to Google this one. I thought the J was a French J and it was going to be Majuri Bank. It's not. It's March Banks. March Banks? I would not have gotten that. So this is another one of those ones where this pronunciation and spelling have gone two different mm -hmm. ways. <laughs> this looks German. Kadvalada. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say it's Welsh though, and I'm gonna say the double L makes the Ooh, Welsh sound. The, <sighs> oh. Isn't the W a V sound in Welsh or something? I don't it's a different. Remember. It's not a. It's not a W sound. <gasps> it's an O sound actually. Oh yeah, Cado Clado. Cado Clado. Cado Let's just see what they have to say. <laughs> Northern Irish, Cadwallader. Cadwallader. Oh. oh! Oh, well. We okay, know. well, we, we went way <laughs> more difficult on that than we needed to. Okay. This looks like multiple names. Cyanadik. Cyanadik? No. Kinadik. Kanadik. Oh. Wow, that, that sounded, sounded authentic! Wow, good job. Wow, what a name. Uh, I'm gonna go with Seindich. The last one to me looks like uh, the Irish spelling of Kennedy. That's what I was wondering oh. if that's where the Kennedys came from. That is not what you said. No. <laughs> you can't retroactively no. take that back. <laughs> no, I actually, right before you started it, I was like, is this going to be Kennedy or something like that? <laughs> sure. Of course, we have different sp No, I literally <laughs> did. You no, we just learned about it. In that documentary about John Hume, because one of the Kennedys, Robert Kennedy, was communicating with Mr. Hume because he was oh, of Irish descent. Oh, right. Okay, that's that's probably what it is then. It's an Irish name. Wow, that is really cool. The more you know. A huge thank you to Tony and Simon for helping us with this video. We really appreciate you guys putting yourselves out there and helping us pronounce these crazy UK surnames. Also, if you know the history or etymology of any of these surnames or have any insight into pronunciation, or have crazy British surnames that you want to add for a possible part two, <laughs> drop those down below. As always, we really appreciate all the comments that you guys leave on our videos. This is a learning channel. This is our quest to learn about UK culture and we couldn't do that without your help or insight. So thank you to everyone who takes the time to comment. Make sure you share this video with someone who has a crazy surname of their own. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Eric. And I'm Grace. We're the Wandering Ravens. We'll see you in the next video. Au revoir.